Hello friends, today I am going to discuss some important MCQ for Mahajanko exam 2023 assistant engineer and junior engineer on topic thermodynamics. Myself, Mr. Donelis, I have completed my B in mechanical engineering, M tech in thermal engineering and currently working as a lecturer at Anand Charitable Sanstha Diploma Engineering and Technology College, AST. So we will move towards some important questions which may ask in, may ask in the competitive examinations. First question is, A definite area or space where some thermodynamic processes takes place is known as a thermodynamic system, thermodynamic cycle, thermodynamic process or thermodynamic law. See friends, a definite area or space where some thermodynamic process takes place is known as thermodynamic system because this is the definition of system friends. The question, the answer is A thermodynamic system. Now second question is an open system is one in which heat and work. See friend, uh, the definition of what is the definition of uh, open system? Open system is a system in which energy as well as mass uh, cross the boundary. Is it correct? So uh, there are four options here. In four options, first option is heat and work cross the boundary of the system this is correct for an open system but the mass of the working substance does not see friend here mass of the working substance does not means this is a closed system option number a is closed system this is not the answer of the question now second mass of the working substance crosses the boundary of the system but heat and work do not uh, this is also not the answer because uh, the definition of open system is energy crosses the boundary as well as mass also crosses the boundary. C. Option number C. Both heat and work as well as mass of the working substance cross the boundary of the system. This is the correct. The An open system is one in which both heat and work as well as mass of the working substance crosses the boundary of the system. And option D is Neither heat and work nor the mass of the working substance crosses the boundary of the system means what friend? This is the definition of isolated system. So option number C is correct answer of the given question. Now we will move towards the third questions. Our third question is <clears throat> on an isolated system. What is the definition of isolated system? I have already told to you, friend. Uh, isolated system is a system uh, in which neither energy nor mass crosses the boundary of the system. See, option number A is a specified region where the transfer of energy and or mass take place. Is it the answer? No. Because Isolated system in which neither energy cross the boundary nor mass cross the boundary. See, option number B is region of constant mass and only energy is allowed to cross the boundary. This is also not the answer of the question. Then C is the correct answer, friend. Cannot transfer neither energy nor mass to or from the surrounding. This is a definition of an isolated system. See, question number four is on a property, is on extensive property, friend. Uh, actually, there are two types of properties in thermodynamics we have already studied in previous lecture. <coughs> extensive property and intensive property. Intensive property means which is independent upon the mass. And extensive property means which is dependent upon the mass. See friend, uh, extensive is heat transfer. This is not a correct answer of the 
Thank you. One question. Extensive work is done. This is also not uh, related to extensive property. Then extensive energy is utilized. This is also not related to this question. All of the this is not correct answer. Let's see. Uh, e is the correct answer, friend. None of the above. Then question number five, we will move towards the question number five, friend. Question number five, which of the following is an intensive property of the thermodynamic system? See, first option, volume. Now, volume is depend upon the mass and it is known as extensive property. Uh, temperature. See, friend, temperature is an intensive property which in which independent upon the mass of the system. Then mass, mass is also extensive property and energy is also extensive property. So correct answer is the B, which is known as a temperature is an intensive property. Now we will move towards the question number six, which of the following is the extensive property of thermodynamic system? There are four options. First one is a pressure. Friend, pressure is a extensive property or intensive property. Pressure is a intensive property which is independent on the temperature sorry independent on the mass volume is extensive property i have already told to you extensive property means which is depend upon the mass temperature is also intensive property density is also intensive property so the correct answer of this question is uh, b different question number six correct answer is b volume volume is an extensive property here now question number seven, when two bodies are in thermal equilibrium with third body, they are also in thermal equilibrium with each other. And this statement is called as zero law of thermodynamics. Friend. Now, this is very important statement, which is related to the temperature or thermometer. This is known as a zero law of thermodynamics. When two bodies are in equal, thermal equilibrium with the third body, they are also equilibrium with each other. This is the statement of zero law. Uh, no, B is the first law, not, not this is not a first law, this is not also second law, not a K influence law. So, first uh, option number A is correct answer. Right here. Now, what is about question number eight? The temperature at which the volume of the gas becomes zero is called as, as friend, this is called as absolute zero temperature. There are four options given here. First is absolute scale temperature, this is not the correct answer. The absolute temperature is not the correct answer. None of the, the absolute zero temperature is a correct answer because the volume of gas is become zero, and which is when the volume of gas become zero, absolute zero temperature. The correct answer is B. Now we will towards the question number nine. The value of one bar. In SI unit is equal to, see friend, uh, this is the question here, one bar is equal to, uh, given here, the option 100 Newton, this is not possible. This is not also, B is not the answer, uh, because see friend, uh, we have already studied in thermodynamics and all other subjects, engineering subject, one bar is equal to, what is one bar is equal to, 1 into 10 to the power 5 Newton per 10 to the power you Newton per meter square. This is correct answer, friend. 1 bar is equal to Newton per meter square. And this is known as 1 Pascal. This is, a, this is the correct answer for question number 9. 1 bar is equal to 10 to the power 5. Okay. Now we will move towards the last question of the session. Uh, what is the last question? Question number 10. The absolute zero pressure will be when the absolute when the pressure is absolute zero pressure when the molecular momentum of the system becomes zero. This is the correct answer A. At sea level, this is not correct. At temperature of minus 273 Kelvin, this is also not correct answer. Under the vacuum condition, this is also not at the central. Level. Correct answer is when molecular momentum of the system becomes zero, then the absolute pressure, this is also known as absolute pressure. Okay, friends, thank you. 
we'll stop here.